don't know it just seems like a really interesting choice one that i can't really understand completely but i mean i guess it doesn't hurt anyone so yo what's up everyone my name is talon and netflix is pulling some interesting moves uh just about a week ago they decided to uh, add the feature of their Android games globally to every single country that Netflix is available in. Uh, and just uh, just a couple months ago, they introduced it to a few select countries and everything, but they rolled it out to everyone. Uh, and for the, just this last week, it was only available on Android devices. And just today, uh, I saw that it is also available on iOS devices on uh, Apple iPhones and iPads. You can also get access to the games on there. But if no one has heard about any of this, uh, Netflix has kind of delved in the gaming space for a little bit because there's a lot of money to be had in it. And Netflix is a huge company when it comes to streaming services. And it just makes sense that they would want to kind of get into the gaming space a little bit. We've seen some games on their TV service, such as the Vandersnatch and Man vs. Wild, where it's just it's still a show, but you get to interact with it, everything with your remote and kind of make some choices there. And it was actually a really cool concept, but with a lot of companies like Microsoft with the with their Xbox Game Pass subscription and Nintendo with their new expansion pack for their Nintendo online services for like a new like a uh, N64 games and stuff like that. There's a lot of money that could be had in the gaming subscription space. Like like I said, Xbox Game Pass, it it's extremely popular right now. And it just makes sense that Netflix is already a subscription. Maybe just add a couple extra features. Since this is really new, it's uh, there. The service isn't really completely delved out, and it's not uh, all that extensive when it comes to the games that's available for playing. I think the big ones that uh, is kind of available right now is Stranger Things three and Stranger Things nineteen eighty four. There's a couple other ones thrown in there, but in all honesty, they don't seem anything special. They kind of just look look like free to play game games anyways, just with no advertisements or microtransactions in them so nothing too special and even the stranger thing games they've been out for a little while so again nothing very special there the cool thing is that uh these additional features is completely free if you're already a netflix subscriber you get these games it immediately at no extra cost to you um i mean who knows maybe in the future netflix will raise their prices again and if they keep adding more and more games to the service uh maybe they won't obviously like make it obvious that it increases the price and that it's an individual feature but if there's huge price increases in the future um it could be a reason for that just because they're adding more features to the netflix subscription because netflix in just a few years they have increased the price multiple times and netflix is now actually a pretty expensive subscription if you look at what it used to be it does seem like a very interesting move in my opinion uh, the easiest thing to compare it to would be like google play pass um, because all you do is on the Netflix app, there is a small little section where you just click on the game and then it just takes you over to the Play Store anyways, where you can then download it. So it's very interesting that it's still connected to the Play Store and everything. I'm not completely sure how uh, it's going to work on iOS devices, but if I can find any articles, maybe I'll post a picture about it. But it is all just mobile games uh, at the moment. So yes, uh, Google Play Pass is probably the most relevant competitor to it. I know that Apple has their own gaming subscription as well. A very interesting thing uh, that I kind of found is that the games that are currently part of the Netflix subscription, there's no controller support for them at all. So even though like Stranger Things 3, for example, is part of the service, and that's come out on multiple other devices out there, including consoles, PC, and everything. There is absolutely no controller support for it. Uh, you can only use the touch controls. And I really hope that doesn't stick around when they start adding more games, especially if they start adding more AAA games that you might want to actually use a controller for. So for Stranger Things 3, uh, I can see that it's perfectly fine to use touch controls. But if more complicated games get put onto the service, I definitely want to see some additional features such as controller support. So I'm just curious, what do you guys think about Netflix just adding a little couple more features such as games to their subscription? I don't know, like it doesn't hurt anyone that they're doing this. And obviously because of games like Stranger Things, they already own the license for Stranger Things. So it makes sense that they throw it out there. It's been out for a couple of years now. So really they're not losing too much there, just adding that to the service. But I don't know, I can't, it's tough to see them like really flesh this out too much and keep adding more and more high production value games on there because it, it, it kind of seems like a, a niche thing because 
not everyone that has a Netflix subscription wants to play games. And if they keep adding more and more games to it, then it, it's just going to be a feature that not everyone's going to want and take advantage of. So they're going to feel like they're paying extra for something that they're not even using. Just think about all the people that use Netflix that don't play any games whatsoever. And even if they do play games, what are those games that they're playing? Most likely it's already console games or PC games. They're not really playing mobile games. So it's just interesting that they decide that that should be a feature part of the subscription that everyone pays for already. Again, I'm not bashing on this whatsoever because it's it's absolutely free, at least at the moment. So it's a, it's a free feature, no complaints there. I just really, really hope that it stays that way and that they don't go overboard with it and start increasing the price of the subscription because it just doesn't make any sense. But with all that said, I kind of just want to know what your opinions are about it because I'm just one person. I definitely have my opinion about it, but maybe some people have really been asking for Netflix to be adding features such as this, and maybe they're just delivering your wish list, and it's a great thing for you. Maybe you'd be happy paying a, an extra, extra fee to get even more games added to this service, but please leave comments about it. Uh, I want to have some discussions with anyone because I don't know a whole lot of people that's really talking about this at the moment. I mean, Netflix kind of just slid it under the rug. It's not even like front and center on the app. You have to even scroll down a little bit to even find the game sections on there. And I don't know anyone that's even noticed it that doesn't regularly read news articles about stuff like this. So please start a discussion about it. I want to hear more about it. So like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.